Ready, set, go. Say hello to the new baby robot. So I'll be teaching you how to run and operate the robot just in case anything goes wrong. So, so right now we're on the main screen. This is pretty much what you should see uh, when you go in. Um, so if you don't see this, there might be a little orange X off to the side. Click that. You should see all these files off to the side. Um, what you're going to want to do to make sure you're running the demo is you're going to flip the switch. Make sure you're in auto, right? So you could be at T1. Make sure you click auto. Flip that switch back to the check mark. Hit this O, I. If it does not engage I, one, it'll tell you where or what's happening, why it won't turn to an I. Um, the biggest thing I can tell you that probably is the case is these over here. So these are the two yellow connectors. So these cannot be touching, but they still have to be facing each other and a certain distance away for them to register. So now that we have the motors engaged with the eye, we now select the demo baby underscore and it says robot. Um, we're gonna hit select down here at the bottom. We're gonna grab the back side, push it in just slightly, not all the way. If you do it all the way, it'll click. It's too far, just a little bit in. Then we're gonna hit this green play button. All right, now that we hit, now that the R is red, press it one more time, and now we're off to the races. So here's a little showing of the demo, and let's just say it shouldn't ever, but let's say some of the pieces warped or broke in transit, and they're not where they're supposed to be. Um, we can use this emergency stop that's on the controller, or we can use this emergency stop that is on the base of the robot so either one i'll show you here right now you can push it in it'll immediately stop the robot we can cancel out of the program and then we're going to jog the robot to a safe position so disengage so on the controller you just twist and pull it out if you're using the big e-stop you need the key to twist and pop it out okay so now we got to confirm all. So this is just getting rid of all the warnings, understanding we hit the e-stop, everything's good. Re-engage the motors, okay? And then we're gonna slightly hold this the entire time. And then this is how we're, oh, exit out of the program. Oh, sorry. Switch it out of auto into T1. Slightly hold the back. You should see these all green lit. And then all of these, so the five and all these numbers correlate with the A's on here. So for example, A5, if we wanna move that joint, it tells us negative goes one way, positive goes the other way. So if you ever get into a situation where the robot's stuck, you hit an E stop, now you need to get it out because if you tried to home it from this position, it's gonna take the path that is most convenient, which means it could go through other objects. So you just wanna make sure you jog it going out. So in this case, we're just gonna do a little maneuver of bringing this down, pulling this up, bringing that down. Okay, hit that. Okay, and now that we have it out, we can just go select test run. So select test run, not the, uh, not the demo, select test run. Slightly hold the back again, and then hit the play button. 
and then all the way until it stops moving. And now you've rehomed the robot and you can rerun the program. Um, and then make sure you cancel out of the program and then you can switch it back to auto. And then you just run the click the demo robot, select, press once, press again, and now we have the robot going again.